Yeah, it took seven years to get to this point, and obviously they're just starting out, so there's not much here now, but this group has big plans for the site, hopefully a place where they can worship and feel welcomed in this community. Three. One, two, three. three. The ceremony might be symbolic, but what it stands for is something special for members of the Muslim community in South Snohomish County. Oh yeah, the dream come true, yeah. yeah we, we couldn't sleep whole night with this excitement. The Khan family has worked on this for years, seeing it as an investment for the next generation. This is for the people. This is for the children. They're going to learn here. They're going to live here. They're born here. They're going to work here. They're going to live here. They're going to use this facility here. It's for them, for the young people. Several years ago, the group faced opposition in the form of postcards and flyers that told people to oppose the mosque. And the sign at the site was damaged. But many in Snohomish County have rallied to support the group. We're supposed to have freedom of religion, but we're constantly met with adversity. And that's why we have to keep pushing forward. Local faith leaders stood with members of the mosque to say they're glad the project is going forward. We'll celebrate that. Congressman Rick Larson believes some of that negative attention had a different effect. The freedom of practice of religion is important. And I think what we have realize is that we always need to ensure we're defending that freedom. So they took the symbolic first steps of construction and say they hope it's a, another step forward in acceptance and unity. To help all of us with the diversity that we see around to come together and to unite as one nation and to understand that and today was just the groundbreaking. They say it will likely take about two years to get this fully built. We're live tonight in Muckleteo. Amy Marino, King 5 News.